What's up guys, Genius Pie Trap, and this is the Steam Link tutorial. We're going to see what's in the box, how to hook it up, what you need, all the software. Let's get into it. First, let's see what's inside the box. First, right on top, we have the Steam Link itself. Give you guys a quick glimpse at the connections. All right, pop this open. We have some guides, which you guys are not going to need because you have this video. Next, we got in here, we have three adapters. Does this look familiar? Yes? No? What about this one? Yes? No? Does that plug into your wall? What about this one? Whatever it is, they got you covered. Any of these will work. Um, and of course, the one built on here is the one that I'll be using. We have the power adapter, like so. Look at that. Now if we want to, if we need to use one of these other adapters, maybe you're traveling, maybe you've bought this and live in a different country that uses such a thing, we're just going to simply pop this off, like so. Pops back on, and we'd pop the new one on. Like that. We also have a Ethernet cable, and we also have an HDMI cable. Before any of you ask in the comments, what if my TV does not have an HDMI connection? My best advice to you is don't buy the Steam Link. Save your money for a new TV first, then buy the Steam Link. Because if you don't have an HDMI connection, your TV is pretty old. Now if you're hooking this up to a monitor and it has a DVI connection, by all means you can hook this up with a DVI to HDMI converter. Alright guys, real simple. We're going to take the Ethernet cable, we're going to plug it in there. It only goes in one slot. The other end, we're going to plug it into our router. What if you don't have a router? You need a router. Valve highly recommends that this thing be hooked up wired. We're going to go through what we do if it's wireless, when, but we still need a router. We still need a router. HDMI cable. It only goes in one slot. Real simple. The other end goes into your TV. If you don't have enough HDMI connections, you're going to need maybe a receiver or an adapter or something, but this needs to go plug into the other side of your TV. Not your computer, but your TV. Power adapter. Boom. Into your wall outlet. If you can't figure that out, for the love of gaming, you do not deserve to be a PC gamer. Alright guys, it's real simple. Again, none of this plugs into your actual PC. Again, none of this plugs in to your PC. Wall. Router. That's the thing that your internet hooks up to. And into your TV. Alright, let's plug it in and see what happens. Alright, for this next part, we want to make sure Steam is up and running on our PC. Again, we have to have Steam up and running on our PC. Alright, we got everything hooked up. It's plugged into the wall, it's plugged into our router, plugged into our TV, and we get a screen like this. Quite simply, we need to, by USB, either plug in the Steam controller, or a mouse and keyboard, or an Xbox 360 controller works, anything of the sort, something to turn it on. I'm going to go ahead and attach the Steam controller. And we get the setup page. I'm going to se select English. It found my network right away. Now, I need to select and put in this pin on my PC. Alright, we're going to see a little window like this on our PC. We then enter the code that we've seen on the TV into this window on the PC. Click OK, and we should have Steam Big Picture Mode launch on both the PC and the TV. 
All right, to hook it up wirelessly, you want at the minimum, at least one part of the steam link connected to the rotor. So you want either the steam link connected to the rotor or your PC connected to the rotor, either one. For this one, I'm going to disconnect the steam link from the rotor. Say my TV is in a completely different room than my rotor and I have no way to get a rotor or a wire connection to it. We'll get a screen that looks similar to this, finding network, then it'll list our networks, and from there, it automatically found it. It's really nice and simple. From there, we enter the password and we connect. It works very, very well as long as at least one end is connected. All right, if we go to this little cog wheel right here, click on that, and go to in-home streaming. Here we have some couple of options. We can stop the streaming right to the link. Also to stop streaming, we can go to this power button, click it once, and go turn off Steam Link. And this will turn off the Steam Link, or we can hit stop streaming as well. And if we see this like so, that means that we are currently not streaming anything to our television. And here we can basically enable streaming or disable streaming. Say you don't want someone to stream what you're playing on the PC to your TV. Now, if it's actually streaming, it's going to look like so. And we can hit that button to stop the streaming. Here's Here we can change the client options the, from fast, balanced, and beautiful. What this basically means is... The faster you have it, the less input lag you'll have, but it's not going to have as good of graphics. This is balanced, beautiful, obviously will have the best graphics, but you might experience some input lag. Now some games it doesn't matter. If you're playing a game of Civilization, it really doesn't matter. Put it all the way on beautiful. If you're playing a game of Counter-Strike Go, you obviously want it on fast because it's so reliant on having the best speed. Here in the advanced client options, we can change our display resolution, we can limit our bandwidth, a bunch of other options to check out, but nothing too important that you probably don't really have to even mess with. All right, guys, that's about wraps it up. If you have any questions at all, put them in the comments. I'll probably be releasing a impressions video on this and what I think of the Steam Link, and I'll also be doing one on the Steam Controller. If you have any questions about the Steam Controller, I also have a video tutorial on the Steam Controller, so check that out as well. Talk to you guys later. Genius Pie Trap, over and out. Later. Bye. Victory. The outcome was never really in doubt. Eat my dust. Let's have a go at it. Godspeed, you magnificent bastard.